30-foot prototype flipped over and sank. Relatives of the victims have reportedly hired deep water search specialists to find the bodies. Anyone who saw the crash is asked to call the L.A. Sheriff's Department. Please. It's been a tragic weekend accident. This is our top story this Monday, January 14, 2001, today in L.A. Live from NBC4, this is Today in L.A. You thought you heard 2001. Oh, you know, that happens for the... It's 2002. You'd have to a week off. You know, yeah, month. I know. Believe me, I don't have that excuse, and I'm <laughs> screwing up left and right. Okay, we want to talk. <laughs> Divers will be going into Lake Castaic this morning to recover the bodies of three victims and their speedboat. Today in L.A. is Jennifer Bjorklund is live where the search operation will begin this morning. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Kelly. They are hoping to locate the three other bodies, but what they know for sure is that they will try to raise the wrecked craft later on this morning. Friends and family members of the, the four men who were on board that boat when it crashed Friday have been holding vigil all weekend. Now, three of those men worked for an Agua Dulce speedboat company, and they were taking a customer on the 30-foot twin-engine boat for a test run when it flipped over and crashed. One man was pulled out shortly after the crash, but died soon after. He's 41-year-old Ken Lane. The three other men are still missing and presumed dead at this point. A max, uh, a marine salvage company is assisting the sheriff's divers because the water is about 240 feet deep where the boat is, and sheriff's divers have depth restrictions for recovery dives. So that salvage company used a remote camera to locate the craft, and they are going down to pull it up later on this morning. They should be out here about 8 o'clock. Live in Castaic Lake, Jennifer Bjorklund, Today in L.A.